Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today, this is kind of a request um, to show, again, I, I do have a couple videos doing this, so I will put it at the end of this video if you want to check them out. But a lot of new people have subscribed to my channel and have questions and they're new and, and they want some, you know, ideas. Then this is one of the better ideas. So if you're new to drawing, uh, or you want to learn placement or that kind of thing. Um, we're going to play with some pages from a magazine. Now, you can get free magazines in the mail. If you look up free magazines, uh, there is a place called Freebies, I believe, and you can get free magazines from there. Um, you can get free magazines at your local library. Uh, you can just go ask them when they're done with their weekly magazine. Usually it's people, us, that kind of thing. Um, if you can have them and, uh, usually they'll just give them to you cause they just throw them away. Uh, your local dollar store will have magazines. You can look at your grocery store at the entrance or where you leave and they have like where they have the auto trend and that kind of thing. They have colored, uh, magazines there. And honestly, it doesn't matter if it's black or white or colored. Um, also for those of you who are, uh, visiting your doctors quite a bit, uh, they have magazines as well in there and they have free pamphlets, you know, like got diabetes, try, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. So check those areas out as well. Um, or just ask a friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is number one. And number two, like I said, if you want to draw, uh, you know, this is going to be a great child face to copy from. Now I cut these out. I cut no, no, no. I'll cut that whole phrase out and I will cut, um, like these words out, right. In chunks. Let me show you just so, cause I know some of you are like me and you need things shown to you and not necessarily, um, you know, how you say, uh, told, you know what I mean? I learn so much better when I see somebody do it rather than being told what to do. Now here's an issue. I obviously, um, have two different pages here that I I'm digging. Right. And this is great for, if you want inspiration for your, uh, art journal or ATC, um, you know, and then we have this. So what do you do? Well, I would not necessarily cut this out. Um, what I would do is just leave it the way it is because you're getting inspiration from both sides. Now, let me see. This is for the second thing I'm going to talk to you about. So here is another face, as you can see, and then there's words. Um, this happens to be, I don't know how I got this coming in the mail to me. It is Spanish people. I have no idea. I don't speak Spanish. I don't know. Um, but her face is a very pretty face to do. And we also have this face. So you can see we're going to get, you know, I'm going to put these two faces aside. Okay. And then our little kid's face. And then what's over here. And then we have this face right here. Um, we also have these eyes. So these eyes doo -doo 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 -doo, are crying. Um, L'Oreal Paris uh, mascara. You, so you can look for makeup ads and all that kind of thing. And you know what? We can cut these out and it's not going to affect anything else. So we want to practice eyes. We got eyes there to do, right? And then I'm going to cut this part off like that. And if there's words on here that you want, you know, you want to keep, keep it. If not, throw it away. And we have this face to work on. Now you can see, obviously there's two different eyes here. Sometimes I love doing half a face, but these lips are fantastic to practice with as well as this nose and these eyes. So, um, oh, don't even start singing again, Cal. I'm moving on. Uh, this is from my, this is from my art book that I get. I, I think it's called art today. I don't know what it's called, but I dug this is an abstract. Uh, do you see, uh, just the different, um, I don't even know how well you guys can see it, but like, like drawings and scrapings and paint and colors. And I just really dug that. Um, and then I dug this, which is, um, 
a man, obviously, with a clown behind him, in a bra with a knife spot. I don't know, but it kind of, I dug it because I really dug the face. And that's something I will get inspiration from. Now, you can see this is something very uh, abstract as well. And, you know, if you're learning, if you want to learn abstract, to me, abstract is like a mixed media background in a way. Um, so I, I have issues with me, not anybody else, sometimes doing backgrounds that come out kind of like this. Um, I like to put something on top. Um, look at this eyeshadow though. I don't know how well you can see it. It's so sparkly. Um, but this is great abstract and these are great for backgrounds, which I will show you what we're going to do. And so is this just to get some ideas, but we keep going. Here's another piece, you know, here's other pieces and then here's our paper. So first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this and these and you can use that and what I would suggest and you can pull all kinds of these out cut it and make sure you put those words all these words away because look you get chocolate and flowers and when a chocolate expert so those are all little words you can cut out and use in your art journal if you want to do a quote or words or what have you and then we have these beautiful flowers and um, there's nothing in there so we have these so let's say we're gonna do an ATC card and the ATC card we're gonna do ATC cards are always this is just my you guys have probably seen this a million times ATC cards are two and a half by three and a half so what you will do is measure for your ATC card. This is if you're in a swap or uh, uninspired and want to, um, you know, get inspired, get a background. So I'm going to take like this. That's our three and a half. And then we're going to go our two and a half. Dun, dun, dun. Here. So I'm just going to very quickly draw this so I can cut it out just so you get an idea. Let's say this is our ATC card. Now you could definitely use this as ATC, put it on um, a index card or a piece of cardboard or whatever. And this becomes a background if you're using scrapbook paper, but you have this. And yeah, this is a good background, but we're going to go blank. We're going to pretend like there's nothing on it. Well, if you take a piece of paper, my hands are not working, and you see you have this. Well, you can cut out of here. You can cut out of here. We can cut out of here. And this becomes a background. So just pick, pick where you want it. Do right there. And you cut it out whatever way you want. Maybe you have one of those, um, like the Fisker cutters, which I do, but it's underneath my thing there. So I'm going to cut it out. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat screaming. It's, it yells at Emily because Emily's in the bathroom and it likes being in the bathroom with Emily until it's in the bathroom with Emily when she's showering and then he screams the whole time. But if you don't put him in the bathroom when Emily's showering, he screams all the time. So there's no winning with him. Just to say. All right, and you can see now this is a little piece if you want it. If not, you know, you get rid of that. And then I'm going to cut it like this. So that is. And you can always put it on and cut it after it's dry. It doesn't matter. Now, again, like I said, you can use the, I mean, this will make quite a few, right? So you can do that. You can do that side. You can do whatever. <laughs> And then we are going to take our glue stick or your Mod Podge or your white school glue, whatever you have, whatever you use, up to you. And then I'm going to put the glue on. I'm just doing this for uh, quick. But I will tell you that your Elmer's glue sticks, your uh, Avery glue stick like I have here, they are archival. So they, you know, won't yellow or do any like weird things when you know they're years old neither do the you know they say elmer's white school glue isn't as well it's not archival 
uh, the glue sticks are, but not the school glue. I've been using that for probably 10, 15 years and I've never had anything yellow. I know some people are weird about that and they want to make sure, and I'm all for that, but I'm just letting you know. So you can see, I'm going to crunk those little pieces off that might be too big. And then we have, look, we have an ATC card started. It's a background. So now what do you do? Well, you could take your white paint and um, kind of, you know, push that in the back, put a white wash on it, a black wash, a pink wash, whatever you want. But you just had your start for your ATC card and you can go from here. You can put a quote, you could leave it like this and put a quote. You can add, oh, you can add glitter and rhinestones and, and whatever you have um, and just play around and really make this fantastic. And if you are in a swap and maybe you have to make four or you wanna make a set, you have your other, ones that you've not cut yet so then you can cut 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 get as many as you can out of it and then you know do something a little different to each one but they're all cohesive as if we're in project runway and we're doing our final set of uh clothes and um we need it to be cohesive so there you go if you don't know what project runway is you have no idea what i'm talking about but yeah so you can definitely do that and that turns out like I said, you could do that. You could use this in your art journal page and uh, put it down, you know, before you cut it and have the same thing. You have a background. Let's go from there. So if you guys want to see me put like this in an art journal or do this ATC card, how to do it, let me know down below. I will gladly do that for you. But now we're going to do a face. Okay. Well, let's pick the face. And I put these, I have a big, um, how do you say, uh, Oh, Kelly, 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 plastic bag, uh, Ziploc bag, Ziploc bag. And that's what I put these in. It's like one of the big ones, not a gallon, gallon and a half or whatever. I stole from my sister, not stole. I took it from my sister, but, um, she knows she gave it to me, but that's where I put them at. And I just set all these in. If they're too big, I fold them and then I can go back in. I have tons of them. I have words. And then, you know, sometimes I get, I'll be sitting there and I'll cut like these words and everything out and put them in a smaller Ziploc inside the Ziploc so I can go in and pull. And this is a lot of the things I do privately. Like I don't necessarily show these parts of my art journal or the art journal I use, um, but I'm going to be showing, you know, I'm going to be doing that. So, but that's just for that. Okay. So I'm going to set those there and then we're going to decide what we're going to do. So like I said, we'll do the kid one another day. How adorable is that though? This is a great face to do. This is a great, I'm like, these lips, I want these lips. Can somebody put these lips on me? Can somebody draw me and then just put them lips on me, please? And the eyelashes, although I can wear fake eyelashes, but these lips I must have. All right, she's beautiful. So we want to do her, her. Piece of printer paper. You can use parchment paper if you have it. Just don't use the shiny side. Put the shiny side down so you can you can draw. Um, uh, wax paper. Put the shiny side down. You can draw on the other side if that's what you have that you can see through. Tissue paper, um, tracing paper. You can get tracing paper at the dollar store. So, all right. I'm not going to do her right now with the lips. She's making me a little jealous. Let's do her like that. And then I'm going to. Put it down like that. These eyes are good too. These eyes are really good. Right, we'll do that after. Now here's what I do. I take this and I turn it over. Now <clears throat> I have a light box, but I know a lot of you do not have a light box. What you can do is you can go to your window, any window, tape her like this. Tape her doo -doo, on the window, put your paper over, tape it. And then you're going to be able to see perfectly, like the light's going to come through. It becomes your own light box. A lot of us don't have, you know, don't maybe can't uh, stand for a long time. Maybe you're in a wheelchair uh, or that kind of thing. Um, maybe you don't want to do it at the window. So another thing that I do is I take a pencil. And if you have charcoal, you can use a charcoal pencil. I think I have charcoal. We'll do blue. You could do a black crayon or any color crayon. You don't necessarily have to do black. I do it this way. 
And then I turn it. I'm going to sit. Excuse my arm. This is a Derwent um, charcoal in medium. This is the Derwent sketching medium wash, which it doesn't matter. Um, a regular pencil will work. I don't suggest you use a mechanical pencil, uh, which is one of the things I absolutely love, but um, I don't suggest it because it'll probably rip it. Um, but this is just your regular number two pencil. You know, this is a Faber-Castell and it is two. You know, it's like a school number two pencil. So if you have a school number two pencil, use that. Doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna kinda and I wanna, you know, you wanna kinda see where the face is. The face is like gonna end around here. So you don't waste a lot of the time. I, you know, I'll end up all my time down here and it's like you're not doing anything. So I can maybe I'll cut it just to get the chin. Just so I kind of have, I don't care about the hands. If you want to learn the hands, go ahead. Um, I pick different things for hands. But you see now I'll have more of a idea where I'm going to draw. I can even cut this oval out if I want. Like if I want to know, like maybe I want to do a canvas. And I, I just want the shape of the face. So I will, I'm going to leave the ears on because I don't know if I want the ears. But I'm going to cut like this. Oh, no ear there, but that's okay. Okay. And you see how we get the oval? Oh, that looks like a... I don't even know what the heck that is. We're not going to do that. Because I can't get the other ear, so we'll worry about ears later. But you see how we kind of have an oval? And you can definitely go and really cut it out close to it. But it would take me probably an hour because I just can't today. There we go. And you see now, look how much it's cut down. I know, if I edited, if I could edit, I would be able to put that. But see, I like showing my mistakes and I like showing tips and I, and sometimes I'm in the middle of doing something and I'm like, oh, do this, cut it so it's, do you know what I mean? And that happens to us. And I just keep turning it. And the reason I turn it, and I do this with a lot of the stuff, is you know you're getting different angles so if you miss something but well, that's it we're about done there okay i'm going to go back in with my pencil okay all righty my paper down i'm gonna lay her down and i'm gonna go in i gotta turn it because because of the RA, it makes me funny when I do this. Let's take, you want a sharper pencil. You don't want it so sharp that it's like, boom. I suggest even a pen at this point because it rolls easy and you know, you won't tear the paper. But now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna push fairly hard and I'm gonna trace. And you can do this on ATCs if you have a smaller, um, picture. I did Ellen, which I'll link at the end. And I'm just tracing the outline of the eyeball. It's going to be hard for you to see because my hand's over it, but I'm going to trace over the eyeball. The eye itself. And you can go over it a couple times. Um, the like fold right there. You could do the eyelashes and all. I'm not going to waste your time when I sit and do them. Her little nostrils, her nose. Okay. Like that. And you can see it kind of, you know, the shape of the nose kind of goes up like that. And you can play with that. Let's do her mouth. Now her mouth's open. Um, if you don't want it open, you can just not draw the teeth or anything in. It's up to you. I'm just going to do my best here. It's like I'm putting lip liner on her.
Okay. Now I'm going to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to kind of put it so the mouth is open. I'm not going to do the teeth necessarily right now. Um, or maybe I'll just do the little bottom just so I have an idea. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. The eyebrows. Now, we can be very fancy and, you know, do like the, the little hairs. How it is. And then take it over. And we can color it in. We could do that with this one. Boy, these eyebrows are sisters. They're not uh, twins, which normal eyebrows are, I guess. And then we'll just color that in. And if you want to go ahead and, like, you know, trace her pupil, you can. And I think we're okay. Um, I'm going to mark. I'm going to go down. I'm not going to draw the whole face at this moment, but... I'm going to kind of mark so I can kind of follow where the uh, face is and then kind of go up here and then bum, ba, ba, ba. can you see it look at that you just did a face and honestly how easy was that right not, now you can't, you know, I mean, I, I don't know about, uh, you know, doing this and selling. I mean, she's going to look absolutely nothing like that because I know I'll get asked about that and I really don't know. So if you know, you know, go ahead. But like I said, she's not going to look anything like this when I'm done. But let me move in the little bit more and I'm going to go over now with my, um, where are you? Where are you? My mechanical pencil, because that's what I like to draw with. Now, let me tell you, I'm going to give you a, a tip. Um, this is a number nine mechanical pencil, and what it is, and I know you guys who have been with me know, it's a thicker lead. Now, when I use a five or a seven, because the way I hold my pencil and because the pressure that I put because of my RA and everything and fibro, I break the lead all the time. The nine really, really, really helps. Um, it doesn't break as often, and I really can uh, control it like I want to. So that's what I'm going to use right now. And I'm going to make this darker for, so you guys can see it. And this makes me so happy. And you don't have to trace it like this when you're done. I just want to do it for you guys so you can see it a little better. Um, you can go in with a marker or your crayons or your um, pen that you want to use, your paint. You see what I'm saying? doesn't matter. You can go ahead and do your thing with it. And then the nose. Just going to trace. And that's all I'm doing. It's just tracing what I did. Now, here's where you can decide if you want to um, have her mouth open or not. Now, I'm going to, you saw how to do it, you know, when I did that with the mouth open, but let's say you don't. So you bring this down a little bit more and then let's bring this. She's going to have big lips though. So that's kind of something, you know, think about. And then let's just do her line in between here. But I'm not hating on that because I would love to have lips like that. And then you can go in because remember, all we used was pencil. So you can go in there and, you know, erase or do whatever. Uh, the point is, is that you made lips, you know. And if you want to go in and you're like, oh, I want this to be a little more Cupid bow or a little less or a little more pointy, whatever, that's when you'll sit and play. So then I'm going to do this over the eyes that we had. And eyebrows. So I'm going to just like this and then, you know, and then you can color these in or whatever you want to do.
Mm -hmm. Same with this. Like that. And I'm coloring in so you can see it, but obviously I would paint or use a marker or whatever to, you know, to fill them in, right? And then you can see, I don't know how well you can see, you can see it a little bit here, but I'm going to go in and just lightly follow where I put the um, outline of the face. Okay. And then we can do her neck and there you go. So you can definitely um, go in a little pointier, which I didn't really copy this down here because really you can do it whatever shape you want. But let's say I'm going to go to the point, a little point area. So I got that and my little area is like halfway down and then I'll kind of go up like that. And then, you know, then you'll go in and kind of just sketch it a little bit to round it just a little bit and then you can go in and write this is where you play to make it yours or if you don't want to then leave it alone it's perfectly fine the way it was you know you just kind of go in and play and then you kind of put her neck and that kind of thing you could see her jaw so you'll just kind of you know you want to have it like an oval almost she'll have hair and all so it's not going to matter and then all right this is bothering me and then you can go in and, and paint her you want to uh paint her with darker uh skin darker paint by all means you want to paint her with lighter then by all means and if you want you can follow the picture that you traced um, to see the darker areas and the lighter areas and all that kind of thing if you want to, but if not, like I said, and then we can do now, mind you, this is a big, you know, I got a big face going on here. Um, and we're just practicing. We're not, you know, uh, if it bothers you, then definitely go in, um, and just do it right like that. And then we'll do like a, Just a little, let me just show you what it'll look like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, Cal, come on. I know somebody else said, it's so hard watching you erase with your hand. It's because I'm disabled. Not fun to make fun of disabled people. <laughs> when people people say the meanest things. Okay, so like I said, I'll just go up, go around, give her the round, and you see how different. And there you go. You could play with the lips and all that. Like I said, not important at the moment, but. You see, and then, oh my goodness, then you could take, you know, and do different hair. You know, I'm always about that side part. You could put her ears on if you want. Remember, this is just the top of her head uh, when you're drawing it. It's not where her hair is because our hair goes above, right? At least my frizzy hair does. So I'll just bring that out like this. And you see how it changes, like when you add the hair, right? You can make it whatever color you want. You can make it curly. You can make it straight. It doesn't matter. But you see how it all starts to come together. And this is from a magazine. Can you even believe it? Probably. You're probably like, oh, it looks like crap, but it doesn't. It's when you're starting out. There you go. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I said, I would paint the um, eyes, you know, and everything like that. Do the skin tone, the hair, do a paint this in the back and it would be gorgeous. And then you could lay it on a canvas, an art journal page, whatever. So I'd really appreciate to hear what you guys have to say about this and what you think. And if you would 
do something like this, uh, tag me. Tag me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, um, Google. What else is there? Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I'm everywhere. All my information is down below. And I would be really uh, excited to see what you guys do. Like I said, very easy, very simple. Um, you know, it took me about 20 minutes, if that. And, um, you know, we have a face here. So I'm really excited to know what you guys think. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And uh, remember, this is progress, not perfection. This is learning and doing things um, so we can do art and not feel like we are trapped because we cannot draw or we, you know, you get stuck on a piece of uh, ATC card that's, you know, white or an art journal page or whatever. I'm going to show you a few things to do um, and we'll do another page, you know, draw another face uh, in another video um, just so you get the, you know, get in the groove and getting the idea. Um, and I just love you guys. I just love you guys so very much. So share this if you would be so kind. Leave me a thumbs up if you do enjoy my videos. And please leave me comments. I love comments. I read them all. I don't always respond because I got a lot of videos and a lot of comments. Um, and so it's hard to respond to everybody. But I read them all and I just love you guys so much. So I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye, guys.